So now we are in Edo State. Um, yeah, we believe Edo has a lot of monumental hearts, which will enlighten the hearts of tourists and enlighten the hearts of people who want to get old monuments. And when you talk about both ATA art, when you talk about um, am I going to put this sculpture? They are there in sculpture. They are there in metal art. They are there in so many things. And which is, um, this one is part of essay art and a lot of it here. Yeah? And which you have so many things you can ever think of in the aspects of tourism, which Edo is offering us here. Yeah? And again, the head of this, I've forgotten this, but. This is one of the best art so far, the best art exhibitions in Nigeria, which Edo's are offering. Because I'll take you back in Festac 77, when Festac came to an existence, how Edo's, how they participated and bring more, much more arts in Festac and promoting tourism and culture and art to another level in Nigeria and taking it out to other countries so people can actually view how Edo's, how they've gone so far in the aspect of art, which they make sure sculpture is another thing in Edo. So now we are moving in to interview the Edo personnel and uh, to tell us much more about all this art and the origination of all this art and what they mean in African origin and emblem. So yes, ma, your name? Ma. I am Princess Mrs. Ekiwa Ine the permanent secretary in charge of arts, culture, tourism, and special duties in Edo State. Edo State is, uh, has a very rich cultural heritage. You are, you are aware, as is well known all over the world, that Benin bronzes adorn museums in Europe and America. These bronze pieces were looted from the Benin Royal Court, from the Palace of the Oba of Benin, during the invasion of 1897, popularly called the Benin Massacre, when the British uh, attacked the kingdom for the death of some of their, uh, 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 of their officials. These bronze works are beautiful, they tell our history, and they are in museums all over the world, being sold for huge amounts of uh, money. But good enough, they are still being produced in the state today. And uh, here we have a few of uh, some of the items still being produced in the state. This one is the face of Queen Idia, popularly known as Festac Mask. It was the symbol that was used in uh, Festac uh, 77 years. When uh, the government of, uh, of uh, Nigeria tried to get the original uh, ma uh, figure that was taken from the palace, uh, the British uh, government refused. And so the Benin uh, Bronze Casters, which is a guild in Benin City located in Igun Street, were commissioned to reproduce the, the, the first act mask. It's the face of Queen uh, Idia. Queen Idia is uh, reputed to have gone to war in support of her son. Or by SCG. You have uh, this is a, a, a figure, an effigy of an Obar of Bini in a full regalia. This is this is one of the full regalia of the Obar of Bini when he comes out in the ceremonial uh, activities, particularly in December during the Igwe festival. And uh, I happen to be uh, a daughter of the crown. My father, Oba Kenzwa II. Is, was the, uh, the father of the present Obar of Benin, Oba E. Diawa. So he is my senior brother. So I happen to come from the Benin Royal Court. So I don't think it was a mistake that uh, when government appointed me as a permanent secretary, they decided to post me to the Ministry of Arts, Culture, Tourism, and Special Duty. Edo State is the home of culture, and it's a good tourist destination. So now she's assuring us now that Edo State is a home of culture when it talks about tourism and when we talk about art, most especially in sculpture, most especially in meta art. Um, for example, when you see the greatest festival ever been held in the world, which is the Festac 77, the face of India, Princess. 
Queen Idia, and which is this mast here. And again, now, Benin is not just a city. Benin is not just a town in Nigeria. Benin is actually a place of tourism. It's actually a place of art and culture. Now watch over. Move to Benin to get your latest art and culture for good memory about Nigerian art. Be there.